Hi, welcome to the Green TV channel. Dr. Alex Lander has recorded a new helpful podcast for you. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss important information about your health. Hello, friends. Today I will answer two questions, how much omega-3 to get per day? How much EPA and DHA to get per day? Roughly 3 grams of omega-3 fatty acids each day, in food or supplement form, may be the optimal amount needed to help lower blood pressure, a review of the research shows. The analysis of dozens of studies, published Wednesday in the Journal of the American Heart Association, looked at the relationship between blood pressure and two omega-3 fatty acids, docosahexaenoic acid, DHA, and icosapeninoic acid, EPA, dash which are found in seafood such as salmon, tuna, sardines, trout, herring and oysters. DHA and EPA can also be taken together in supplement form. While previous research suggests omega-3 fatty acids might help lower blood pressure, the amount needed to do so has been unclear. According to our research, the average adult may have a modest blood pressure reduction from consuming about 3 grams a day of these fatty acids, study author Dr. Shinja Lee said in a news release. Lee is an assistant professor and program director of the Macau University of Science and Technology School of Pharmacy in China. Analyzing data from 71 clinical trials published between 1987 and 2020, researchers examined the relationship between DHA and EPA individually and combined in blood pressure in nearly 5,000 adults with and without high blood pressure or cholesterol disorders. Study participants, who came from around the world, ranged in age from 22 to 86. They consumed omega 3 fatty acids through diet and or prescription supplements for an average 10 weeks. The analysis showed overall, people who consume 2 to 3 grams daily of a combination of the two omega-3 fatty acids reduced their systolic. Most of the studies reported on fish oil supplements rather than on EPA and DHA omega-3s consumed in food, which suggests supplements may be an alternative for those who cannot eat fatty fish such as salmon regularly, Lee said. Algae supplements with EPA and DHA fatty acids are also an option for people who do not consume fish or other animal products. According to the Food and Drug Administration, evidence that omega-3 fatty acids can help reduce high blood pressure or the risk for heart disease remains inconclusive. However, the agency announced in June 2019 it did find the evidence sufficiently credible for it to allow these claims on food and dietary supplements containing EPA and DHA. Our study supports the FDA guidance that EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids may reduce- Thank you for watching. You can buy the product that was discussed in the video on the iHerb site. The doctor has chosen the best product for you from the entire range of the site. See you tomorrow.